Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Vamos a ver. Okay, tell me present. Vamos a ver. 19 today, right? Almost 19. Adriana Sofia. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Elmer Fabricio, Grace Michel, Ivo Marcela, Jennifer Elizabeth, Jessica Lisset, José Alberto, Karen Janet. Present. Karen Janet me dijo presa. No, Carla Lorena. Sí, no, pero Karen Janet también contestó. Karen, sí, ¿verdad? Present, sí, present. Ok, vaya Karen a Carla. Very good. Dice Dayanara. Liset, Liset. Teacher. Tell me, uh, Victor. Victor, Victor, I hear teacher. Lisette Dayanara. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Espérenme que me pica la espalda y no tengo forma de arrancarme. Porque me pica justo el lado izquierdo donde no me llega la mano. Ay. <ríe> Qué feo. Vamos a conseguir una, una extensión de mano. Venden una de palito, ¿verdad? Funcionan. En Nahuizalco venden una de madera, teacher. Vamos a ir hasta Nahuizalco a buscar una. Adriana Marcela. 
nos hieran Adriana, José Alfredo, no. Ok, qué poquitos hay ahora. Hmm. Yo acabo de entrar, Tichas, pero que no menciona. Sí, ya la había mencionado, Adriana Sofía. Es. ¿Alguien más está que entró después de que lo llamé? Yo estoy, yo creo que ya me había llamado, teacher. ¿Quién es yo? A ver. Ivonne Marcela. Ivonne Marcela, a ver, Ivonne. ¿Anybody else? Ponme, a ver, dos, cuatro, cinco. Ah, pues sí. Sí, 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 somos, no, somos, somos diez. No, nadie. Who's missing? Who enter later? Who enter after I call you? Me, teacher. Oh, Adri Adriana. 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 Yes. Eh, sí, voy a estar de oyente la primera hora, teacher. Bye, Adriana. Gracias. Okay. There we go. Well, this, uh, remember, we continue uh, talking, uh, we continue talking about focus groups, right? That's what we started in this unit. And we have been talking about focus group all the week. And of course, we will finish. Uh, we finish today with the focus group because tomorrow we go for review with all the grammar points that we have been using in class during this unit and the previous one. Okay, uh, August 19, today. And this is our video conference number 14. We're going to be reading an article about focus groups and especially about the types of questions that we do in a focus group. I got extra information. I got in extra information related to okay. I got extra information about the type of questions that you need to do when you are in a focus group. But eh, probably if you say, pero y para qué me sirve eso? ¿Para qué me sirve eso? Eh, bueno, no lo ve así como para qué quiero yo aprender a hacer ese tipo de pregunta. Nunca se sabe, ¿verdad? Nunca se sabe. Definitivamente uno nunca sabe cuando va a ocupar lo que aprende. One day you may have the chance to go and work with something related to business. And then you can say, you know what? I know about that. And I know about that in English. And I know how to do it, right? So the other thing, it's a good way for reviewing how to make questions in general, okay? Bueno, uh, we will go through the article, right? We will go through the article. Uh, I'm going to send you to the groups. Vamos a ver, we have 10, right? Hmm. Adriana. Adriana, Víctor y eh, Alfredo. O sea, Alfredo. No, they, are, they are listeners right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to make the groups with the people I have here. So I'm going to send you to read. I want you to pay attention to the different types uh, to the information in general, right? Because later on, we will come and discuss these types of questions. And I'm going to send you to read again, but then 
to read with the example questions, right? With example questions about each of the topics that we have here, right? Because when you make questions, especially you want to get some information, it is, when you make questions about trying to get some information, especially here, that you want to get information about a product and how people will accept it, it is important to make not just one type of question, right? But different types. So with different types of questions, you can get different types of information. Okay, so this is on your manual, page 24. Vamos a ver, we are 12 right now. Hmm. Let's make groups. Three, four, four, twelve, verdad? <laughs> Bye. Okay, so we're twelve. Okay, tienen un oyente aquí. Another here. Oh, mire qué cabal cayeron. Okay, there we go. Then go through the reading. Remember. Eh, the first thing you will do is just read and analyze the different types of questions. Later on, we will go and read the example questions, but right now, pay attention to the text and see what, what are the type of questions that you have to do. There you go. Try to join. Teacher, hola. Okay. Teacher, no deja compartir. No les he dejado compartir. No, teacher. Ah, no se escuchó. <risa> sí, vaya, hoy sí. Ahí está. Ay, no, espérenme. Que... Como imprimí el manual, porque para probar otra práctica no lo he abierto, pero. Si no lo puedo compartir yo. Ok. No sé si Grace está o si solo son ustedes dos. I guess you're only two. Let me go check the others. Yo sí, yo creo que Grace todavía está en la universidad. ¿Verdad? Ok. Nos quedamos y ahí. Vaya, go read the information and analyze it, right? Uh, later on, we will see examples of the questions. But right now, I want you to get to know what each question, what each type of question refers to. Okay. In this moment, we are... Um... Is uh, uh, explaining the last night teacher. Ah, it's yeah, today. yesterday, uh, David, we were reading about focus groups and we were also making questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Number page of the Day 24. 24. 24. Only number four. Uh, no, 24. 20, page 24. Ah, okay. 
is the same uh, page where you have the, the instructions for the questions yesterday, but today what you're going to read is the article. Okay. Yeah, the question number one. And then let's let's start. Nubia, are you in the computer? No, teacher. No, es Marce. I use a, a tablet. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Voy mm -hmm. a conectarme yo en la, en la compu para ver si logro compartir la pantalla. Nice. No pudieron compartir nadie. Este, Ivonne dijo que se iba a conectar. Pero puede, lo que pueden hacer es compartir. No hay nada. No, David no está. Eh, sí, sí. Sí está. Sí, ahorita estoy intentando conectarme también, que me está dando problemas la compu. Oh. Pero ahorita ya, ya me conectó. Okay. Yo estoy en eso. Ya voy a compartir eso. Sí, porque Adriana no está. Que viera que no sé por qué. Como agarro un gran tráfico y a veces se calienta. No apago la compu. Y mm. la dejo en el asiento y a veces se me calienta. Y a veces como que se hace lenta, no sé. Sí. O agarran vacación. La mía hoy me costó encenderla también. Sí, como que invernan demasiado tiempo. Uh -huh. Ya sabe que es viernes, teacher. La... Todo el mundo lo sabe. Ella sabe, dice, ella sabe. Esta semana se sí ha estado fea aquí por estos lados. El tráfico, ¿verdad? El tráfico de dos horas, dicho. Qué tremendo. O sea, esta semana ha sido la más pésima sí, de todo el año. Día, para mí. Un día fue el de eh, que se cayó el bordo, ¿verdad? El, sí. Híjole. Y a, ¿Cuándo y fue el accidente? Ayer, antier. Ah, 16 de agosto. The accident, there was an accident one of these days. Too. Fue el martes. Ese día, ese día fue mi cumpleaños. Qué celebración. Sí, <risa> estuve dos horas en un redondel esperando a que se moviera en la entrada de, de, de la que salte. Qué tremendo. Sí. Pero sí, ha estado feo el tráfico. Gracias a Dios, es viernes. No, pero más loca andaba la gente hoy. ¿En serio? Sí. Oh, my God. I come early to, uh, to my house, so I don't notice what's going on later because I, I don't go out late. I come home at about 4.30 and I don't go out anymore. So I never know anything about the traffic later. 
Vale, ¿cómo les fue? ¿Ya lograron encontrarse ahí? No, sí, yo ya pude, ya me está abriendo el, el documento. Ah, va, espero. Ahorita, ahorita entro. Ok. Opa. Dirigido. Focus Group. No, never. Why do you think it is important to design good questions? Teacher, we were reading the, the tips for design focus group questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we are ask, answering the two questions that are before the... You finish reading the tips? Yes, teacher, we, we finished. Okay. Qué rápidas son. <risa> Ahí estábamos tratando de abrir el documento. But, but we can read it again. Mm -hmm. Is it clear for you the type of questions that you will do? Yes, we were talking about the specificity. That we have to avoid to ask why we were saying that if you ask something about why, sometimes you can say something negative. But remember about the product. That's the idea. Remember what we were saying yesterday, right? That all the questions should take you to a why. For example, if you if you say. Uh, I don't like this product, why don't you like it? Remember that at the end, the purpose of a focus group is to get all the information possible. So here you don't have to worry about receiving negative uh, answers because that's the idea. No, the idea is not to get negative answers, right? But the idea is to get uh, all the information possible, honest information. Teacher. And sometimes honest information will not be what you want to listen, but what you need to listen. Mm -hmm. So we 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 didn't understand properly because we were saying that we don't have to ask why. You have to. That's what we but, said. Were you in class yesterday, Anna? Uh, but we were reading avoid the. Vague. But, li okay. but listen to my question. Were you in class yesterday? No, teacher. Ah, that's why. Because yesterday we were we were reading uh, some information related to the focus groups, and we were saying that it is extremely necessary that every question you do, you finish in a why and how. Because uh, you, you need people to be honest, right? Because that's the purpose of the focus group, to get all the information that you need. So you don't have to be scared of receiving, a, how can we say, a bad feedback. Because the purpose of doing the focus group is, is especially that, to get all the honest information that you need to improve the, the product because that's the idea. So here you do not have to worry about receiving a bad a comments about the product. If the product is bad, it's bad, right? If it is good, people will say it. If it is a bad product, people will say it too. So what you need to know is a, if the product is complying with what you were offering people at the beginning. If it is not, and you need to change something, that's the purpose of the focus group, to help you see what you have to fix, right? Así que don't worry about receiving bad comments, because if you receive a bad comment, it's because that's what you need, right? It's because the product, the product has something to improve. Okay. We are confused maybe because in, in the sentences, this the word why has a negative meaning. 
Uh -huh, exactly. But it doesn't mean that you don't have to use it just because it has a negative meaning. But you have to know how to ask and you have to be very careful with the way you ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we are going to read it again. Yes. I am going to start with the number one because you did, you already did it. Number one. Okay. In introduction. Begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. Example, I think it is. Their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy focus group. Number two, fun starter question or, or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the groups. Creativity flow. Que necesitas that you need to obtain. Hi, teacher. Hi. We we have to complete these questions or this exercise. Did you finish reading? Yep. Yes. We are discussing about the definitions. Uh -huh. of each. That, that's what you have to do right now. We <laughs> only read. Uh, okay. I need that you get familiarized with each of the points related to the questions that you're going to be uh, checking because remember we did those questions yesterday, but today you're going to give a check to how you did your questions and if you need to fix something. I wasn't yesterday. But you saw the video, right? That's what yeah. I expect you to do when you're in not in class. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So you get familiarized with what we were doing the previous day. Yeah, familiar. I am, but uh, I don't know if you, are, you have an exercise <laughs> or something. And remember, we are always working in class and we're doing different exercises. And right now we, com we continue what we were working at the beginning of the, of the class, of the course with the, with the product, the new product that you designed. We continue with that same product, right? So everything we're doing is related to that. So what you're going to do today after we discuss all the different types of questions we had is check the, quest, the <laughs> questions you did yesterday and fix them, right? If you think there is something to fix, if you think your sentences are okay, that's okay. But if you think you have to fix something because you don't feel comfortable with that type of question, you fix it there, right? That's what we are going to be doing in a couple of minutes. If you didn't do the questions, this is your moment for you to do them. Rosy was here. Yes. Okay. So you will have to work those questions with your group, uh, Adriana, Sofia, with the original group that you created the product because the questions will be directly uh, to evaluate that product. Okay. Mm -hmm. So wait for your group because next time I send you, I will send you with the group that you are originally working with. Bueno, vámonos. Vamos. So let's go. Nobody, nobody. <laughs> they will come soon.
Let's see, 20 seconds and everybody will be here. Two seconds. Bash. Let's see. Uh, we were saying, I'm going to share, that yesterday you were writing a set of questions for your focus group and related to the topic. Well, we couldn't do it exactly about the topics of each, if everyone, because some groups were not complete, right? But you chose the product of one of the people from the group and they were making the questions. So. Um, today, we're going to read the different types of questions that exist. Pay attention to <clears throat> some important information related to that. And then uh, you are going to share, well, we're going to discuss some example questions. And after that, you will go work with the questions you did yesterday. Uh, to see if they follow the instructions or if there is something that you need to change, you change it. That some people were not here, right? Some groups were not complete. Then what you're going to do uh, with those groups that are not complete is uh, make the questions today following uh, the instructions given for how to make the questions for the different types of questions that exist. So in that case, you will go checking, right? That you do each of these types of questions in the moment of creating them. Baya, let's see. Um, says you can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention. Remember we said yesterday, first thing is make the questions because if we have the right questions, we will, we will have or we will get from people the right information. If we have questions just because I had to do the questions and I did them quickly, I probably won't get all the information that I need. And later on, I may be thinking about, Ay, I debía haber preguntado esto o lo otro, but we didn't do. So that's why these clues can give us a, a clear idea on what to do, right? On, with the questions that we have to create. Check number one, introduction questions. They begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus groups members to get to know each other better. Remember yesterday we were saying that uh, the first type of questions that you do are questions uh, where you have to make people feel comfortable, right? So to break the ice. And then you get people to know each other. Those are the first questions that you do. Then after that type of question, you go for fun starter question or activity, right? Because the same, you continue with the idea of people feeling comfortable when answering the questions, because remember that the information that you're going to ask is not very comfortable probably for them, because remember, they will be talking about your company and they may think that you will receive answers that you don't want to listen. So they may be trying to protect themselves and not giving the answers that you expect, right? Because they will be trying to cover so probably what they think. But in this way, if you make them feel more relaxed, like asking fun questions. You will make them feel like a group, become more creative, and they will start giving more creative answers too, right? 
Some example of these questions would be like asking about hobbies. What's your favorite hobby? No tiene nada que ver con lo que están preguntando, you could say, but the purpose here is to make fee people feel comfortable, right? That's the only objective of the favorite, of the first two types of questions. It can be one and one. Then uh, format questions. When choosing focus questions or focus group questions, uh, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide a structure and direction and open-ended questions to allow for further exploration and discovery. So you want people to answer some uh, close questions because they are very easy to, to collect, right? So in a very easy way, you will know what people think about your product. So the first thing is asking questions like that. But then you may ask other types of questions. And remember, you include a combination in your questionnaire. You may have multiple choice that are like the rule we can say, if you see most of the four, uh, the service we answer, they don't have open questions. They have a closed questions because they want to receive a, a response quickly or yes or no or agree or disagree, right? That's why those are like the most common questions. That is true that they give a direction to the interview, but we also need a, a more exploration. We need to get more information. So for getting more information, you ask open-ended questions. Remember when we were studying a yes, no questions, in yes, no questions, people will only tell you yes or no. But if you ask them information questions, they will give you more information. That, that's what you need, right? Definitely. Now, rating scale, that select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Remember, when you make a question, when you answer a questionnaire, or you go to a group of discussion or a survey or something like that, you get a, the criteria, right, that you receive. Like I agree, I disagree, I totally agree, totally disagree. Those are some examples. Other uh, can be uh, sometimes, or using adverse of frequency, right? That's another example of the options that you may have in a question. That's when we're talking about rating the scale. And also, well, remember that it will depend on the type of question that you have, right? So what answer will you give? Agree, disagree, totally agree, totally disagree, or will you use a adverse of frequency like sometimes, often, never, very poor, okay? So those are like different, uh, talking about the scales, right? Another thing is specificity, specificity Avoid bad open-ended questions like sim simply ask why. Check. When we say this, remember yesterday in the reading we had, we were mentioning that we ask a closed question, right? A question where people have the options A, B, C, right? And you ask a, a closed question and that closed question can be focused by a why. So don't ask only why, why do you like this product? No, ask, do you like this product? How long have you used it? Why do you use it, right? So not just simply ask why, but uh, take the conversation as you're asking the question and you can get the people more interested and in giving you more information, right? 
because if you only use the word, the word, the question why isolated without a previous background to get to it, it says that the word why has a negative meaning and it makes the respondent think their first answer was no good, right? So be careful with uh, that when taking the person to that question, why do you like it? Why don't you like it, right? But be sure that you direct the person to that question or to that answer, because you need to know why. If somebody tells you, that they don't like it, ask them, why don't you like it? How, how can we improve it? So you're including the why and you're including the how, right? Now, another thing here is closing. We have the closing question. When using a closing question, the participants, it says, thank the participants for their help as you're making that question, right? So thank you for being here. And if there is anything uh, could be done to improve, so you tell them right in that moment, if there is anything we could do to improve your experience, or if, if there is anything we could do to improve the, pro the product, let us know, right? But that is in the closing question. So you make people feel that they were there that with a purpose. So it's not like just um, they, they have to do this process because it was a requirement, but they won't do anything without answer. Or they won't take into consideration our opinion. So don't let the customer think that. And how can you do it? By offering them if they have any idea on how to improve or the experience that they have just had or the product. And of course, you will listen to people. They are always willing to tell you uh, how to improve things. They are always willing to tell you what would be a better idea and you could improve it, right? I'm going to share with you some questions. Uh, there are some example questions that are including some of these things. Some of them will be like right in the middle of what we have been mentioning, right? But remember the number of questions, that's what we decided first yesterday. It says 10 to 12 questions, right? Not too many because people will feel tired and they won't feel like answering your questionnaire, that uh, they shouldn't be too little either. So you cannot appear just with two questions because people will say, okay, and that's what we are going to do all the morning, just answer two questions. And if you put them like 20 questions or 30 questions, they will say like, what? That's too much. So you have to be very careful, right? With the number of questions that you use. Check. Here we have uh, some types of questions that we definitely need to use, right? When answering a, or when working in a focus group. One, introductory questions. Remember they were here, right? The introductory questions we said, are questions that we need to use, especially for breaking the ice. We have competitor questions, improvements, and dissatisfaction questions. Do not feel scared of getting a negative responses because people will do it, right? And you don't have to worry about that. Remember that the purpose of the, of the, focus group is to get all the honest information possible from the customer, yeah? And that's why somebody told me yesterday, I didn't know how much money the companies spend in focus groups, because the idea of the focus group is to get all the necessary information, because remember, 
the company will save a lot of money if they can fix the product in the moment before they send it to the market, right? Oh, in this case, if the product is already in the market, it can be a focus group for improving a product that is already in the market that probably is not getting the response that they expected from people, right? Now, so that is improvements and dissatisfaction questions, positive aspects of the product questions. So what do you like about the product? Yeah, but also what don't you like about it, right? Also, you have a specific feature information questions. You need to know exactly what the people think about your product and how uh, they think you could improve it, right? The overall usage and opinion also. What do you think after using my product? What do you think about it in general? Uh, proving questions also, close-ended questions, and the exit questions. So I'm going to send you the, the well, the sample questions, they are seven pages, but we, vamos a ver how many are we now? Let's see. Hmm. We're 14. That we have, I guess, I guess we can make four groups. So I'm going to make four groups this time, not only three, but four. And I'm going to assign to each of you Vaya, una cosa. A los que están ahorita oyendo porque, porque están trabajando, no se me pongan oyente porque eso es otra cosa. Oye, si no me van a confundir aquí a la gente cuando recoja la asistencia. Ustedes ya me dijeron que están de oyentes porque están trabajando. Yo lo considero y los mando. En, en grupo donde haya otra gente que esté hablando y usted pueda oír, pero no se pongan oyente en la asistencia, por favor. Cuando entren, solo su nombre. Eh, Víctor, Karen, Janet, porque no son oyentes, ¿verdad? Ustedes no son oyentes, los oyentes, esa es otra categoría. Entonces, ustedes no se pongan, ya me dijeron a mí que, que van a estar oyendo hoy pero hoy no significa que son oyentes para el resto del curso. Ese, ese es, otro, es otro asunto. Vamos a ver, Adriana, ok. Aquí vamos a mover, intercambiar. Ok. Vaya, chequen. What are you going to do? I'm going to upload the document right now for you to see there in the, in the chat. Check. I'm going to assign a, of the types of, a, of the type of, of questions because before we were describing the characteristics of the questions, now you will have example questions. And what I want you to do, I'm going to share again. What I want you to do is look at the information because they are explaining to you introductory question, what is an introductory question? And you get some examples of that type of question. What are competitor questions? Those questions asking about the competition, right? So you want to know what the competitor is doing. Remember that it is forbidden to go and take pictures in the supermarket to see the products of the competition. People, you cannot do that. The companies cannot do that. That, that, in a focus group, you can ask questions to the people about the product of the custom of the competition compared with the product that you have, 
right? That's what you will read here. And then you have, vamos a ver, I have four groups. I, sorry. I have four groups. So I'm going to give you, um, two types of questions to each of you, and we will leave the, the exit group, the, the exit questions at the, at the end. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, Elmer, Paulis. Bye. Uh, but you can write in the chat for your partners, Elmer, Paulis. Bye. We have introductory questions for group number one, that is Jennifer and Lisa Dayanara. Okay, uh, questions number two, uh, checking. Uh, the document has seven pages, but you will go directly to the part that corresponds to you only. ¿Verdad? Pero para no estarles mandando un pedacito y otro pedacito, se lo mando hacia todos. Improvements and dissatisfaction questions and positive aspects questions. Number two, Analicia, Karen Janet, Rosailda y Víctor. And number, uh, number five and six, a specific feature information questions, overall usage and opinion questions will be for Grace Michelle, Yvonne, and Carla. And the last ones, proving questions, close-ended questions, and exit questions will be for Adriana Marcela, pero está de oyente Adriana Marcela, David and Nubia. Okay, so David and Nubia, you will be reading about that. Y si se sienten animados y terminar un rapidito, se pueden ir al nueve también. Ok. Yes. Teacher, I mean yes, seven teacher. and eight. Eh, seven Providing and eight. Questions? Okay. Yes, proving questions and closing the questions. A ver, ¿todos vieron cuáles corresponde? Teacher, excuse me. I am number, I am going to work in number three okay. and four. Es, with who? Eh, with Rosailda y Víctor. Bueno, Víctor está okay. de oyente y Karen Janet, no sé. Then Estoy you... colaborando. Ah, va. Ah, pues you, Rosy, and Víctor. Ok. Number one is Jennifer, José Alfredo y Liseta y Anara. Ay, Padre Santo, ¿qué? Aquí estamos mal. No, voy a hacer una cosa. <clears throat> Lo voy a deshacer. Voy a hacer tres grupos y les voy a dar tres tipos de preguntas a cada uno. Porque aquí el, el, en el grupo uno, José Alfredo y Liseta y Anara están de oyentes. So Jennifer will be alone. In group number two, Karen es de oyente y también Víctor. Entonces solo están Rosy y Ana, no le puedo quitar a nadie ahí. En group number three, Grace Michelle, Yvonne y Carla, pero no sé cuál es la condición de Grace y che, Michelle ahorita. Eh, prácticamente están Yvonne y Carla. Group number four, Adriana Marcela está de oyente. Solo están David y Nubia, así es que los voy a mandar porque... Chera, a mí no me mencionó. Ah. Déjeme ver. Ah. Sí. Quizás se había salido en ese ratito, Sofi. Sí, porque no, no me la había mandado a ningún grupo, fíjate. Solo apagué la cámara porque a veces me falla el internet. Ajá, no, pero eso no tiene nada que ver. Vaya, vamos a ver. Estado, no me Vaya, Adriana, Sofía y Rosy en number one. Adriana, Grace, Yvonne y Carla. Analicia, Elmer. Ajá, ya ve. Y Elmer tampoco, no iba en ningún grupo. Vaya, David y Nubia están destinados. Me volvieron a quedar juntos. Y le di volver a crear. ¿sí? Va, ahí está. Hoy sí. Bueno, nos quedamos. Uy, perdón. Nos quedamos así. Les voy a repetir otra vez, pero me voy a ir a la tienda. Oye, antes de mandarlos a los grupos, porque cuando volvamos ya nos vamos a haber pasado mucho. So let's see the attendance. Okay. 
Ay, no. Vaya. Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego. Eh, Edwin. Elda Cristina. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. Yvonne Marcel. Present teacher. Yvonne, ¿cómo está? ¿Ya salió de clases? Grace Michel. Yes, teacher. Ya ahorita llegué. Ah, va. Excellent. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisset. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Present. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Ilse Dayanara. Present, teacher. Eh, Rebeca Martínez. Está Rebeca, ¿verdad? Víctor. Present, teacher. Karen. Present, teacher. Víctor, ok. Karen Stephanie. <coughs> Adriana Marcela. Y José, Present teacher. José Alfredo. Ahí me cuenta. Present teacher. Cambien su estado. A mí no me mencionó, teacher. No le creo. Sí. Yo en unos 15 minutos, teacher. Ya casi termino. Uy. No okay. nada. Y Nubia. Ay, yes. solo, le, solo le puse present porque la vi allí. Solo. <risa> <ríe> Como la estaba molestando. Vaya, Adriana Sofía, number one. Espérenme, lo voy a compartir otra vez. Porque como cambié los grupos. Va. Adriana Sofía, José Alfredo, Lisset Dayanara y Rosa Hilda, one and two. Adriana Marcela, Grace Michelle, Ivonne y Carla, three. Sí. Eh, Ana Alicia, Elmer, Jennifer y Karen, Janet, five and six. Sí, ¿verdad? David, Nubia and Victor, seven and eight. Estamos. Sí. Vaya, the information is already in the chat of WhatsApp in the group, in the group of WhatsApp. So check it. And remember, you go directly, directly to this. Eh, ay, bueno, fíjense que aquí, ay, lo voy a volver a deshacer los grupos. ¿Saben por qué? Porque estos son los grupos de su, de su producto. Son los grupos de su producto, yes. Así es que I'm so sorry. Ya les voy a volver a decir dónde quedan. A ver. Eh, Nubia, who are the people of your group with the product? Eh, Víctor. Um, Rebeca. Víctor, Rebeca, no está. Mm. Perdimos a Víctor. Ah, aquí está Víctor. No, Víctor, ahí está. Sí, ahí está. Mira, ya. Only Víctor and Rebeca. Nubia. Rosa Hilda. No. Ah, no, Rosa Hilda, no. No, no, no. Lice Dayanara. Lice Dayanara, yes. Ah, vaya, ok. Eh, room number two, Adriana Marcela, was con Adriana Sofía y Ana. ¿Verdad que sí? Díganme que yes, sí. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Who else? Only you three. Yes, that's true. Only. Yes. Okay. Veamos. Eh... Victor Nubia, Liseta Yanana. 
Adriana, Adriana, Ana. David, who? Rose. Ah, with Rosie. Y Alberto, no, ¿verdad? No, no. Este, Grace, Michelle y Ye, este, Karen, Estefan. Ah, no está Karen, Estefan. Bye. Apá, ahí está ya Grace, Michelle. Elmer, Fabricio, Ivonne, Marcela, Jennifer, ¿con quiénes iban? Carla Lorena, who were in your group? Do you remember? Edwin, Edwin y Ivo. Karen. Edwin. Karen. Janet. Karen Janet. Eh, quiero ver. Sí. Va. Sí, Karen Janet. No sé si Karen está. Karen, Karen, hello. Hi, teacher, pero sí va a estar de oyente. Disculpe. Y no puede hablar absolutamente nada, 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 nada. No. Ok. Vaya. Entonces, eh, Carlita, lo que voy a hacer yo es que la voy a agregar a otro grupo. Oye. Ok. A ver, Jennifer Elizabeth, which group do you belong to? Ivo. Um, y eh, quiero ver. Va, entonces la voy a mandar con Ivonne y, y ahí vamos a agregar. Elda. Oye, Elda. Y Elda. Y Elda, sí, pero no está. Creo. Elda is not here. Vaya, de Ivonne, Jennifer, and Carla. Eh, José Alfredo. Con Elmer Fabricio, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Y, el, y, y José Alberto, creo que van. Pero como ellos no están ahorita, los voy a agregar a otro grupo. Elmer Fabricio. Hello. No está. Bueno. Let's go then. Remember, you see the questions. Read the questions. And check the examples. And then you this. I will call you back for us to decide what changes you will do to your questions. O sea, vean los ejemplos de las preguntitas que están allí y de ahí deciden si quieren cambiar, no todas, ¿verdad? Pero si quieren cambiar algunas de las preguntas que hicieron ayer. Y si no estuvieron ayer, como por ejemplo el grupo de las señoritas Adrianas que ayer tuvieron que adaptarse a otro grupo, pueden hacer sus preguntas hoy. Hoy. Porque ayer se adaptaron al grupo, creo que de Ivón, que estuvieron haciendo sobre llanta, ¿verdad, eh, Marcela? Entonces, hoy. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Vaya, entonces hoy pueden hacer las preguntas suyas de su, de su servicio o su producto. Vaya pues, vámonos. Let's go. Teacher, ¿aquí van a hacer las mismas preguntas o todos? Eh, no. Ah, ya ni le dije qué grupo eran, ¿verdad? David, no, voy, ajá, la David la está en el grupo 3, 5 y 6. Sí, ok, 5 y 6, ok. Carla, cinco, seis. Carla en el grupo 4, le va a tocar 7 y 8, Carla. Ok, teacher. Y vamos a ver. Lizeth Dayanara, el 1. Serían preguntas 1 y 2. Ya les voy a escribir en el chat a los demás. Va y vean si se logran unir. Sobre un focus, eh, en un, sobre, ajá, sobre un focus group, pero me incluyeron en un grupo de, de llantas. De llantas. Ajá. Entonces entiendo que ahorita hay que hacer las preguntas esas, que eran un mínimo de 10, un máximo de 15, uh -huh. acerca de, de nuestro producto. Que era un shampoo de, para cabello canoso. 
Ajá, al final, ¿cómo lo cambian? Sí, ¿verdad? Que sí, primero, porque el otro estaba complicado. Primero era un colegio, me acuerdo. Sí, teacher, pero eso estaba complicado. Sí, cierto. That's true. Vaya, so, so you can read the information and get opinion, ok, get ideas, ok, get ideas para que no hagan las preguntas dos veces, los de ayer porque ya las hicieron ayer, entonces van a corregir, pero en su caso pueden irse de un solo a checar la información y hacer las, las preguntas de un solo, ¿verdad? Nosotras somos cinco y seis. Sí, group number two. <clears throat> uh, you read, I'm going to take you for you to go and share with your partners the, the, about those types of questions. And then we will come and, and, and review your questions with mm -hmm. all the information that you receive. Fíjese que puse atención a quién nos había mandado, pero pero si somos el grupo 2, no somos entonces la, el 3 el, 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 el y 4, ajá. ¿Y qué les dije? 5, 6. Ah, pues no me acaso. 3 y 4. Bye. <risa> Improve, improvements, dissatisfaction and dissatisfaction question and... Hi, teacher. Hola. Hi. Vamos a hacer unas preguntas. <risa> ¿Qué caballeros? Sí. No, mire, que estamos ahí en, en la encrucijada. Yo les dije que no me había unido hace ratito porque le estaba preguntando a usted qué preguntas me iban a, iba a tocar. Ajá. Pero ahí me eh, la, mi, mi estimadísima Rose <risa> dice que entendió otra cosa, entonces mejor le hablo y que no. Entonces... Sí, a ustedes les tocan las cinco y seis. Entonces, uh -huh. ahorita yo los mandé de un solo con los grupos del producto. Pero ahorita lean, la, lean los tipos de preguntas. Los voy a sacar un ratito para que vayan a compartir con los demás. Y después los voy a volver a traer para que cambien o, o corrijan las preguntas que hicieron ayer. Ah, ¿verdad que eso nos va a funcionar? A comparar a, a, a las de ayer y a ver si vamos a cambiarles o, por o, lo que vamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exacto. Bueno, lo que yo no había entendido, teacher, es, bueno, a un principio sí que nos había asignado un número, pero después cuando dijo comparar, eh, pensé que era leerlo todo para comparar todo, pero ya entendí. Vamos a ir a, de nuevo todos para entendernos todos, lo que nos ha tocado a cada uno. Exacto, exacto. Ok, thank bueno, you, teacher. Hoy tú explícanos, Rob, porque yo no estoy ahí. Va, compa puedes compartir, <risa> yo no puedo compartir. Sí, no, solamente... aquí, ten aquí tenemos las de ayer, este, no te preocupes por eso, ya nos vamos a ocupar. Okay, copiado. Comparto entonces la que mató la teacher. Sí, porque yo no puedo, no tengo Word. Por ok, ya, ya te dije. Es fácil ah, Word. Sí, yo ya bajé Word a mi celular. Teacher, pero fíjese que es que no sé, hay una contraseña de Microsoft que eso, yo la creé, pero eso no. Eso es chicho, hombre, oh, no te compliques la vida. Pero se me ha olvidado <risa> la contraseña y no. Speed of K. And there is no way to change it. Ay, un montón. No, 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 no me permite. Oh. Ajá, tendría que crear otro correo, pero no quiero crear otro correo. <risa> ya suficiente, tantas claves que manejo en mi mente. Ay, dígame. Anótela, anótela. Yo las anoto, pero no me acuerdo dónde las anoto. Okay. <risa> Sabes que en la cuenta del banco, o sea, como tengo banca en línea, tienes que estar actualizando. Digo, Ajá. aquí la voy a anotar, porque siempre cuando vas a actualizar, aunque te la bloqueen, tienes que poner la anterior. Te voy a dar un tips. Aquí la Crea, voy a anotar. Créate 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 un chat vos sola en el WhatsApp, o si no, crea una, una nota en el blog de notas de tu teléfono. ¿Pero y si me roban sí. el teléfono? Pues ponele contraseña. Porque las clases de inglés y las, o sea, las capturas que hago y todo eso, sí tengo un chat y que ahí, la, ahí lo guardo. Vaya, es más similar así ponerla. Y poner con contraseña, todo se puede en la vida del señor. Ah, vaya. Bueno. Está bueno. Va, ahí está. Or, or get an agenda that you keep at home to write your passwords. Or tattoo in the, in the hands. In the arms. <risa> y le tengo que estar cambiando cada, cada yes. mes. <risa> Me voy yes. a manchar todo. <risa> y de correr la team number. Yo bloqueo <risa> cada mes la cuenta del banco. 
Ay, no. A mí me pasa <risa> porque también se me olvida. Bueno, lo mismo, en la misma estamos. Ay, no. Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Tachu de password. ¿Sabes que yo activo y desactivo la alarma del trabajo y a veces pongo la, la clave del cajero? Ay. <risa> Porque es diferente. Ese no fue el COVID, Rosy. No, ya ese ya es, ya, ya es mal que tengo, tío. Ay, ya no. no. Ya la ya, COVID. Te voy a comprar una, una tarjetita de esas que andan como gafete y ahí te voy a anotar todas las contraseñas porque no te olvido <risa> vaya, y ahí voy a estar viendo cada uno exacto, exacto ok, no teacher es que la mente se acomoda se acuerda que antes uno se aprendía un montón de números de teléfono cuando yeah. se andaba una agenda yeah. Tenían... y ahora bueno yo no me puedo casi ni... solo los de mi jefe que son los que les marco a cada rato de ahí de nadie ni de mi casa <risa> I know my, my phone number my husband's phone number, one of my daughter's phone number, well, the cell phone, right? The phone of the house, my Dewey, my husband's Dewey, the carnet from the university, my husband Away. from the university. The carnet of the university. <laughs> the passwords of the platforms that I use more often. Uh -huh. Because if no, you have to activate your memory. Coma money. Mm -hmm. <risa> Eso vaya a ser. No, es que no, no es cómodo. O sea, lo que usa seguido es lo que se aprende. Lo demás no. Yes, yes. Ah, ok. Exercising. Exercising the memory. Yes. Um, teacher, tengo. Ay, eh, yo no tengo la mano. No, no la tengo la mano. Tengo uno. Ah. No, no, no lo tengo. Tenía uno para, de inglés para, para hacerlo. Es como un... ¿Cómo le llaman a esto? A book. Sí, pero... Um... Crucigrama. No, no es crucigrama. Oh. Uh -huh. Sopa de letras. Sopa, no. Sopa de letras. Sopa de letras. Crossword puzzle. That's very useful. It helps with your memory and it helps to to uh, to make to think faster. That's one of my hobbies. Yes. In puzzles, I like it. The, the puzzles, yes. That helps. That helps you think faster. And to act faster when you have to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also you learn vocabulary. Yes. Definitely. Vaya, pues lo tengo para que sigan Number five and number six. Yes, number five is a specific feature uh, Can you share the information, the slide uh, that he was analyzing uh, a moment ago. Let me see, let me check. Okay. In the Number. question five, it's a uh, it's for the no 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 nada me equivoqué. Nos toca seven seven and eight. Probing question and close-ended question. You are group number one. Yes. Um, yes. Your group number one. So you have introductory questions and competitor questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, question I, one. because I moved you again, remember? Introductory question and competitor questions.
It's a question for uh, I know the people in the sample in the in the text for the reading say the question for example what's your favorite uh, hobby what do you enjoy most about focus group our question for know the people. That could be related to the question number one is about the, what, what is your favorite sport that you practice What? Uh, let's check. Uh, please read the question number one. What's your favorite hobby? Not, not. Or what do you enjoy most about the focus group? But yeah, the, I understand. That is the question about the focus group. But the question number one that we read, wrote yesterday is not, is not the same. Is the number in, in, in the screen? You can read the screen. What kind of fabric do you like to wear when you practice your sports? Um, is is an is an um, introductory question? Could be what what kind of what kind of sport do you practice? Mm -hmm. so, yes. So do we can change this. Do you have question. a hobby? What's your uh, hobby? Mm -hmm. Talking about hobbies. Remember. In the introductory okay. and the number two also, uh, they suggest that you ask people about their hobbies. So they start feeling confident and comfortable. Yeah, it's to, it's to make a dynamic envi environment mm -hmm. of the four groups. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nubia, we can change the question number one. What's your favorite favorite hobbies? Okay. What else with the introductory questions? Mm. Hi, hi. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Can we try? Would you like to try? Would you like, would you like try the service? ¿Cómo van? ¿Ya leyeron la parte que les correspondía de, de la lectura? Yes, teacher. Um, we are discussing that um, all the questions. Um, 
as a match I know, with our service, with, with our product. Okay. And in this case, we have a service, not a product. Okay. And then we just gonna change uh, some words. For example, in the second, um, in the second, no sé cómo es que se llama el, el, el segundo que estamos viendo, el segundo, el de la página siete. Mm -hmm. um, for example, in the first question says, do you use this product? And we can, we wanna change uh, the question like, would you like to try this service? Would you like Would you like to try? We we are not sure if this is correct, but mm -hmm. or si es posible solo poner Do you use this service? No sé, sentimos sentimos que no it doesn't have a sense. No sé. Mm -hmm. We are not sure. But remember that the difference between do you use and would you use is one, you are using the product and the other is si le gustaría usarlo, right? So uh, the, would you like to try? We can use, mm -hmm. or, or would you like to use this service? Es correcto. Would you like correct. to try, it's okay. Sí. Would you like I to don't know, I don't know if, if I'm okay, but I think that this, Focus group is for people that use the product before. Uh -huh. We are not selling, we are testing. Exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, no, no puedes usar wool, diría yo, pues, porque si, si es como que se lo están ofreciendo para que lo use. Exactly. Y en realidad lo que necesitas preguntarle es cómo le fue usándolo. Exactly. Uh, is after. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Entonces, ¿cuál, cuál en lugar de use? Decir, do you use this product? Entonces decir, eh, que... Do you use this service? That's correct too. Yeah, you can use. Do you use this okay. service? Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. No se me ocurre otro. Porque sí, no, 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 no. It's not practice the service. It's not follow the service. Mm -hmm. It's use. Sí. O do you have this? No, pero have this service es como si va a hablar de la electricidad o del internet o del Netflix. That's not what it is. Say, what is your service? Uh, tire assembles, creo. Así era, Marce. Sí, tires tire. assemble. Mm -hmm. Sí, do you use this service? Yeah. Uh. Ok. Vaya, me lo voy a llevar ahorita. Un ratito y ya vuelve. Ok. Vamos a ver. Coming, coming. Okay. But before we continue there in the groups with, with the change of the questions, because 
while correcting your questions, you will be using of all the information, right? So check. Uh, Victor, Nubia, Lisette, Elmer, tell us about the introductory questions. What is the purpose of the introductory questions and why we should use them? One, one, one. Okay. The purpose of the introduction question is to know about each other of participants. Um, and the, and the, the question format is like this. Uh, is each one of the participant is going to be as uh, is going to say her uh, her day or or his name and um, their his favorite uh, hobbies and some other interests. Okay. Can you give a one example question? Ask one question, uh, Victor. Sorry, I was in mute. Um, uh, a question could be, uh, Just what's your favorite favorite uh, hobbies? Okay, okay. And remember that you redirect the question depending on the product or the service that you're offering, right? Okay, what can you tell us about the competitor questions? Is um. For example, in the question, it's a uh, what difference do you find okay. uh, between our product in okay. relation to others okay. uh, similar to ours? Mm -hmm. Is a difference my product with uh, another product? Okay, comparing my product with other products. Very good. Thank you, thank you, Nubia. Let's see, Adriana and Anna. Improvement and dissatisfaction questions. What are they? We were working with the gray hair shampoo teacher. Uh -huh, no, but tell me right now about number three. What are the improvements and dissatisfaction questions? Okay, could you share it please, uh, Adriana? Así en, en corto, vea. Uh -huh. Vaya. No, eh. todavía no me van a compartir sus preguntas. Lo que quiero es que me den ejemplos eh, sin apegarse todavía a su producto. ¿En qué consiste este tipo de preguntas? Porque como acuérdense que todos han, han leído dos tipos de preguntas. Entonces vamos a compartir ahorita en qué consiste cada tipo de pregunta, un par de ejemplos del tipo de pregunta para que eh, todos puedan ir a hacer las correcciones utilizando todos los tipos de preguntas posibles, ¿verdad? Que se apeguen a su producto. Claro que no tienen que hacerlas todas. Ahí depende del tipo de producto o servicio. Uh -huh. Vaya, uh, what is improvement and dissatisfaction? Dissatisfaction question are about uh, what issues you you face with, with using the product. Okay. And the other one that is positive aspect of the product questions, uh, you are going to share the best of the product. The excelling that you, can you give us. Were... Can you give us an example question for number three? What, what are these product key traits? Hmm? What are these their own product teacher? No, no. 
Ahorita estamos okay. hablando de la lectura, nada más. Ok. Number, uh, num, uh, for example, what positive experience are or outcomes have you had is using this product? Ok. That is the number four. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And the example of, on the example of number three, for example, was what is something that would make you more inclined to buy and use this product, even if you are already a user? Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Thank you, Anna. Now, David, Grace, and Rosie, tell me about specific tissue information questions. What is it? And give me an example question, too. Okay, Tisha. The specific feature information question. Uh, one moment, uh, is the after knowing what the customer thinks, uh, we must divide into in the characteristics and details of your product in order to make change at the right time. Okay. For for example, uh, see the will choose the the feature of this product or development format uh, and the would you, would you use perdón david yes. would you use this specific feature information question in an open question or an in a multiple multiple question and the multiple question teacher. Okay, multiple question. The multiple question, yes. Uh, because the the customer is the they the the all the characteristics that of the, the product. Okay, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because open question would be oof. Yeah, the collect um, right. Yes. The overall Overall, you said an uh, opinion question. Uh, they will help. Uh, they will help us get a general idea of the potential customer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about our product and what drives them to use or the or not or not use it. Uh, you may be aware of uh, certain aspects of your product. Or if there may be a general customer sentiment about your product that your internal can see. Okay, excellent. Yeah, we always need an extra eye, right? That extra eye help us see things that we cannot see, right? Yes. For, exa the for example, the, the pupusa in the, in, the, in the USA is the product of the nostalgic. Yes. People love the pupusas. Even there. Yes. You cannot make the pupusas the way we use them here because we do not have the cheese that we use here. But we make Salvadorian pupusas with Mexican cheese in the United States. Exactly. <laughs> I made pupusas with queso quera. Oaxaca, cream. And Seda in Oaxaca. Sí, with Oaxaca and mozzarella. Uh -huh. I combined them. And I bought beans already prepared. Uh, spinach. Chicharrón. Ground chicharrón. And what was the other thing I did? Ayote, I guess. Uh -huh. That... Eh, with queso Oaxaca, mozzarella, of course. The pupusas were delicious, right? But not the same. But the, ta the taste is very different. Sí, very different. And there, eh, well, in the place where I was taken, they, they told me it is a Salvadorian restaurant. Let's go eat there because you made me Salvadorian food. It was... Eh, a combination of Mexican, Mexican people sell pupusas in the United States, saying that they are a Salvadorian restaurant. But <laughs> the pupusa, well, it was a typical dish, I remember. 
And it included fried banana, empanadas, yuca frita. So they had investigated well. Eh, tu pastelitos. Pastelitos. Sí. Tu pastelitos, tu pupusa, yuca frita, empanadas, Nuevos. fried bananas, and of course the curtido next to it and the sauce. But something that I was like, mm. in the middle, so all the things were like that. It was a big plate. All the things were around. And in the middle, it was a volcano of letters. It was like that. Hey. So, and I told them, we do not eat pupusas with letters in El Salvador. We eat them with curtido and sauce. The, the, the pupusas, the yuca, pastelitos, all of those things, we eat them with curtido and sauce, not with lettuce. And they were like, oh, okay, sí, porque estaba raro. But that's, that's how they served that, that. And that was strange. <laughs> but imagine. And yes. That I, have, I have the partner teacher de, in San Miguel, the curtido is the, we can get to in mayonnaise. I like pupusas with ketchup. <laughs> if I don't have sauce, ketchup is perfect. Yeah, the curtido in San Miguel is different too. Yes. Cabeche, right? Uh -huh. Like the one we use for the hot dogs. Of course, of course. <laughs> Only San Miguel doesn't, or La Unión and Morazán and all the surroundings. Yes. San Miguel, Unión, Guarazán. Only the Oriental. Ajá. Yes. Yeah, because here in San Salvador, if you go to Pollo Campestre, they, they, when they, if you ask for pupusas in Pollo Campestre, they ask you what type of curtido you want. But now they learn that in San Salvador we use curtido, no escabeche. But they uh, ask you if you want curtido or if you want escabeche. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Vaya. Pero aquí, ¿verdad? En San Salvador. I imagine if they, uh, if they have pollo campestre in San Miguel, they will serve it with escabeche. But ya, yeah, pues. Thank you, David. Let's see. Yvonne, Jennifer, and Carla. Tell me about the proving questions and the close-ended questions. Proving questions. Proving questions are the question we made. We make for a clarify, clarify, clarify uh, the um, information mm -hmm. to to get more more data about about the service or or the product. Okay. And closed ended questions are question we make uh, to be responded at yes or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it can be used for for more for ay, no sé cómo se dice, pero to a con se dice cuando estamos marcando eh, segmentando el mercado. To divide. Aha. Uh -huh. Like, uh, do you use the, this product? Yes or not? Yes. If the people answer yes, uh, we continue with the with the. If they respond not, no, 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 son parte de nuestro mercado. Mm -hmm. To our market. That is closer in the question. Okay, perfect. And remember the exit question is the one that you use when you want to summarize everything, right? And just send people with a feeling that they did a good job, right? And that the questions or the information that they were giving uh, is going to be useful. So in that case, you can ask them what they would like to change in the product. If they would like to change something, what? 
is there anything that you want to add to the conversation as we have been talking for two hours but is there anything you want to add and of course at that moment people say no come on it's time let's go and everybody says no 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 right but uh, you should always ask that question at the end mm -hmm. Or you ask them if they want to expand uh, the information, if you want to expand the questions or add more information to the questions, right? Just you want to add more to more discussion for a specific point of the ones that you discussed during the, the meeting, Right, then you will listen to people saying yes, or probably they will say no, 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 that's, that's okay. <laughs> Especially if they want to leave, right? Well, but uh, now that you know all the different types of questions, we will go back to your meetings. So you finish your checking, right? See if uh, you will need to change any of the questions. So if you're happy with the questions you have, that's okay. And then we will share the questions. I'm going to send you there a couple of minutes, 10 minutes, I guess will be enough. And then we come back to cheer. Any questions here? No questions? Okay. Let's go again. Hi, Karen and Stephanie. Tell me, Karen and Stephanie, which which is a, in which group were you working with the product, Karen? Ah, uh, teacher, me acabo de conectar. No, yo sé que se acaba de conectar, pero estamos retomando los grupos de con los que venimos cuando los mando con el grupo del producto. Eh, hubo uno que hice un producto de vitaminas con Rosa Hilda y no me acuerdo el nombre de la otra persona Grace. solo en ese grupo ha estado sí, se ve este. mm. ahí ya la voy a mandar entonces para aquí El de Rosy, que no miro eh, José Alfredo, hello. Ya llegó, todavía ya no. Ok. Y el nos... So, yes, it's not necessary to change all, mm -hmm. all questions. He, um, Elmer, Elmer, can you share the question again? What happened? 
what happened. Se le han pedido los acompañantes, Nubia. Eh, Víctor estaba compartiendo, pero escribió en el chat que, que esperáramos un momento. Supongo no, que lo Fabricio, está cargando. Elmer Fabricio es el que ha escrito, wait a moment. Ajá. Uh -huh. I can share. Ah, es que se le traba la computadora, dice. Mm. <coughs> Will you make changes to the questions that you did yesterday? No, teacher. No question. We are not. You're following everything. Uh, we think we, we structured the question yesterday uh, according the, um, the slide that the instructions. we instructions. Yes, we have we have we have um, a question with a scale. We have a question if the customer of the or, par, or participant suggests that the change. Okay. Uh, what else, Nubia? Oh. <coughs> <coughs> ah, perfect, Jen. Yeah. Great, great. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Will you change any of the questions? Or no changes? Ya lo hicieron, verdad? We, we did it, but we are working in the other type of questions, teacher. Ah, okay. To, to get the complete... Uh, Example. Okay. Remember that they don't have to be more than 12. Okay. 12 will be like the most. A limit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, yeah, we, we are working in a specific future. future. How do you pronounce this word? Feature. Feature. Specific feature information questions. Okay. So we read the questions and then uh, we choose a uh, we choose one per per person and then we decide which question would be better for the focus group. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué marca imaginas? ¿En qué marca piensas? Sería mejor. ¿Qué oh, marca piensas? ¿O qué se te viene a la mente? No, porque querés una pregunta así como que realmente conocer la marca, o sea, conocer bien tu competencia. Es mejor decir marca para... Ajá. Para especificar. No, no pasa el sueño. <risa> <risa> ah. Es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. <risa> ah, pero a saber para dónde se va a ir. 
Ah, uh, teacher, have a question. Tell me. In this case, uh, when you hear the word vitamin, uh, oh, ¿cómo se dice punto en inglés? How do... Period. Punto. So you need a comma. A comma. Sí. And start capital letter. Y no. If no. No, comma no. Aunque sea pregunta, teacher. Sí, no problem. Ah, ok. Thank you. Because you have a comma. If you had a period, yeah, but you don't need a period there. Ok. Thank you. What? No sé, estaba aquí. What brand? Do you think sería? Mm -hmm. Do you think about? What brand comes to your mind? What qué? What, what brand comes to your mind? ¿Qué es lo que decía Grace? ¿Qué marca se le viene a la mente? Right? What brand comes to your mind? Uh, comes to your mind, así te No, comes to, to, to. Ah. Uh -huh. Comes to your mind. Mind. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. What other question? <laughs> ¿Cuál otra palabra dijo que que podríamos usar? When, why? <laughs> how um, también me da. Sí, how. Hi, teacher. Hi. We finished. We okay. are going to use, yes, we are going to use the same questions. Okay. No uh, changes? No, just the. Um, um, oh, for service. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Yes. Great. Great. Bye, Abbas. minutes mm -hmm. Catch, we see. Nice, nice. A bit. Who wants to share? Group number one. Group number one. 
share your sentences, well, your questions. Who are teacher? A group number one, Elmer Fabricio, Lisa Dayanara, Nubia. Y Victor. Ah. Uy, ok. Tell me okay. your, your product and the questions that you did. Our product is a, a, a sports clothes, clothes. Okay. The question one is, what kind of fabric do you like to wear when you practice your sport? Mm -hmm. Number two, what is your impression about the product? Number three, are our size according to the standard? Okay. Do you like the design and style? In a scale from one to 10, how, how are you satisfied Five. with the product? Okay. Would you recommend our product with other people or team? How often do you buy sport clothes? How do you get the sport clothes? How much could you pay for a product like this? If you could make a change in the product, what will it be? Okay. That's the last one, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you. you That's on the close and dead, right? Uh -huh. Very nice. Thank you, Nubia, very good. And let's listen to number two, Adriana's and Anna, who will cheer. Adriana. <laughs> Adriana's. I will cheer. Go ahead, Adriana, you can do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We change our product and we have select a new one. A new shampoo and treatment for gray hair. So the questions that we are selected are, how did you first hear about this product? What do you like best about this specific product? When looking for this product, what company or brand first comes to mind? In what aspects do we succeed where our competitors fail? And how do you say vice versa? Or vice versa, and vice versa. Right. And vice versa. What are your problems when using this product? How significant is the problem or concern you have with this product? What is something that has deterred you or will deter you from using our product? What positive experience or outcomes have you had in using this product? What is your favorite aspect of our product and why? What features do you think are better in our product versus competitors? What features will make this product more useful in your daily life? <clears throat> there are different products that you think could replace this product. If yes, then what? How much will you be willing to pay for this product? Why? Among the competitor com companies mention it which will you choose from if you had to choose another company's product and why will you say you are satisfied with the performance of this product and is there anything else you want to add to the conversation about this product thank you thank you very good adriana sofia verdad yeah no, very yes. good Thank you. Now let's see. It's 10. 
¿Escuchamos a los otros dos o el lunes? El lunes, Tiche. La duna. Un minuto para David. <ríe> Tiene que no, ganar dice... minutos, Karencita. Minutos, minutos. The, mon the Monday, teacher, the Monday. Un Monday. Yes. Solo son seis preguntas, me las lee rapidito. Ok, pues Rojo y te. <ríe> What do you think? Rose. Ok. Y... Our product is vitamin only one. And our question Ivy, one question. What do you think of the taste of vitamins? Uh, number two, what do you think about the appearance of the product? Number three, what do you think about the presentation of the products? Number four, when you hear the word vitamin, what brands comes to your mind? Uh, number five, what benefit do you expect to obtain using our products? And last one, how often do you buy vitamins? Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. And the last one, Yvonne, Marcela, Jennifer, Carl. Ya ven un minuto de tardar. <laughs> One minute, one minute. Yes, teacher. Um, I just gonna uh, decirlas. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. And um, the close and the question about our product, about our service, tire assemble. Um, the first question you say that you will be like to choose or not our service over the competitor. Mm -hmm. Um, can you please clarify why you use you use I know so your usage of this service has declined or increased over the past three years? Uh, tell me why you have those specific expectations when purchasing this service. And you mentioned that others competitor service what about or um, their competitor service i don't know how to say competitors competitors um, okay among the competitors companies mentions uh, which would you choose from if you had to choose another company's service and why Okay. And the exit question: Do you use um our service? Uh, would you say you are satisfied with this uh, service? Would you recommend this service to to a friend? And would you pay the um forty five forty five yes for this service? And have you ever purchased? the competitor service. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. You see, very easy, right? Vaya, let's run with the last attendance of the day. Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Hilda Cristina, Elmer Fabricio, Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Ivo Marcela. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisset. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Carla Lorena. Present. Zeta Yanara. Present teacher. Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela, Rosa Hilda, present teacher, Victor, present teacher, Karen Stephanie, present teacher, Adriana Marcela, y José Alfredo, bye bye, present teacher, ok, 
Sí, yo, sí, Elmer. Ahí lo vi que por allí está todavía. Va. Ok. See you Monday. Have a nice weekend. To you too. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy your weekend. Si me deben mucho, adelante. Eh? Que el lunes recojo <laughs> notas y examen. Ok, teacher. Okay, good night. El comercial. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Hoy tenemos que hacerla, teacher. Hoy. Eh, no, este lunes, porque como un día no tuvimos clase, eso les da el fin oh, okay. de semana. Uh -huh. Ok. Pueden hacerlo mañana o el domingo, o aún el lunes temprano. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, bye. bye. See you.